when we talk about digital health, let's let's define that. It goes beyond software and hardware. Yes, that is a, a core component. But you really need to be thinking about what is the problem we're trying to solve and how do we actually create a innovative health system that improves access. And that's really where we begin to start thinking about how do we bring in resources that inform, that connect, that predict. And how do we actually create a paradigm where these organizations can, can consume it in a manner that it is applied to vulnerable populations? So let me give you an example. Um, so we're working with a partner in, um, in Colombia. They fly into remote parts of Colombia and once a month they organize a pretty extensive brigade. And they go into the communities, uh, they provide healthcare for three days. And then when they leave, nothing really is left behind for the entire year. Now, they came to us saying that we need to strengthen this model from a intermittent uh, uh, care to a sustained presence. Right? And we're talking about some pretty remote parts of Colombia. And, and with the penetration of uh, uh, connectivity, we can begin to think through how do we address some basic problems where we can connect these communities to Patria, our partner in Colombia, and to uh, other centers of excellence to provide continuous care. So, you know, one of the things that we are really focused on is women's health and women empowerment. So when we look at the data around maternal and child mortality, there's a lot of work to be done. We've made strides, but there's more to be done. Imagine a future where we are now tapping into a community health worker in the community itself. And we are upskilling this individual with some basic training and, and programs, but more importantly, empowering him or her with smart devices smart diagnostic at the point of care. So if you take a village and a community health worker through access to these technologies at home in the community can deliver evidence-based care. Simple things. Can we ensure that every pregnant mother gets the prenatal care every single time? That's an important goal and it is achievable. And now you have a community health worker, yes, he or she is not a doctor, but now through telehealth on a smart device, if they have a question, they're able to reach a doctor or a nurse practitioner in a clinic saying, I have an issue here. What do I do? All of a sudden, you have extended the reach of the healthcare system to the home. And by the way, you know, uh, uh, looking at technologies like drone technology to mobilize critical supplies in these communities creates an opportunity where we can maximize an investment without having to build expensive infrastructure. So we are really thinking about how do you piece together different pieces of technology and create a connected ecosystem that leverages the technologies we have. Now, two more important things, right? Everybody's talking about AI and data these days, right? So one of the challenges that these organizations struggle with is lack of data. They're so uh, busy, they, uh, they have such a great need that the act of collecting data is a burden. So we, we have you know, poor quantity and quality of data that comes out of these settings. And these are the settings where we really need to get good quality data. If you have smart devices that these uh, community health workers have, data is being collected as a result of the patient care interaction. There's no additional step that's needed. But then when you begin to look at an AI as a catalyst, because what is happening is we are collecting a lot of data in healthcare. And, and once we realize the promise of digitization of these settings, there'll be data coming in. If AI can convert data into insights for better decision-making at all levels, from frontline to policy-making, that's how we begin to achieve the goals of a modern healthcare system where we, we take care of the patient where it makes the most sense. Not everybody needs to come into the clinic. Not everybody needs to go into the hospital. We can prevent a lot of things. And I think that's, that's really kind of the model we take, right? Piecing together people, processes, technology, data 
for a defined outcome that is important to us.